Well, good morning. We're back in Middle Earth, and as you can see, we're back at the festival. We are going to... Uh, do our round. I'll not be ignored. We're also Stay going to do... Final Act. It's a sorry day. Which is the finale of the small quest chain here in Winter Home. Could I speak with you a moment? Could I speak with you a moment? Hello there. And since we've already read most of these quests, we're not going to bother reading them over and over again. Greetings, friend. So we're going to actually basically speed Hello run through there. this. Let's see. Snowmen. Right. Which snowmen have we made so far? We have made scarf wearing and broken. Okay. So. Would you do something for me? What do we want to make now? That's the scarf wearing. We've already done that one. That's the broken. We've done that one. Let's do the classy snowman. All right. Now we need to get branches. And we need to get acorns. Did we just need one acorn? I guess we did. We only needed one. Okay. Seems like there were a lot more acorns there than uh, just one. We are going to go over here. I'm going to grab our scarf. We're going to grab the rest of our quest. Will you let me speak my piece? Stay and hear me out. Hello, friend. Could you help me with something? Will you give me a moment of your time, friend? Yeah, that guy's so busy doing nothing that he's having the guests do his cleaning for him. As I cry. So we are going to tell me what you need or move along. To this guard here. Now we can. Turn that in. 300 marks. Wow, we got 300 marks out of a, a bag. That's good. Considering I spent a ton of marks recently. And could use some. Wonder if we have any new skirmishes. I guess we should check. Skirmish. Defensive. Let me see. I think we've done Defense of the Prancing Pony, Fort of Brunin. See, I know we've done Siege of Gondaman, Stand at Amonsul. Actually, we have not done Fort of Brunin. So that is a new one. Pack at Dawn, Storm of Icy Crevasse. 
We haven't done icy crevasse either, so we have a couple of new ones. Let's see, so we've done Trouble and Tuck Burrow. We've done Three Brain Mischief. We've done Storm on the Thedras and Attack at Dawn, which was Doldenin. So we have icy crevasse, which we haven't done. We have Fort of Brun Brunin, which we haven't done. So we actually have two new skirmishes we can do at some point. Very good. Are we having some lag? I think we are having a little lag. Always a fun thing, right? I think we've already, yeah, we've taken the quest here. I totally forgot something. So we gotta go back this way. And looking for a lamp. And there it is. The top hat we need for our classy snowman. Trying to get the interior stuff done real quick. And I see where I have a lot of people doing quest this morning. Or well, festival quest. to get our coal and then we're going to make our bread <laughs> this banner is pretty I think I'd rather have it as a blanket than a banner Nice throw blanket for the couch for winter time. Alright, that's done. Oh, we need to finish up cleaning. We have cleaned and cleaned and cleaned everything we need to clean, which means we've Tell probably me done move along. almost all the interior this stuff, except for one. Being very sneaky if I'm right in the middle of everybody doing this. All right, so we have finished pilfering coins. 
for some reason I just don't see a high elf doing that. But you know, that's just me. Greetings. Alright, now, final act. Would you do something for me? Ah, uh, it is good to see you again. I am well, as you see. Better than well. I have a plan that might just fix everything that's wrong with the town, and I need your help. Something big is stirring. The festival has pushed a lot of folk right to the edge, if you know what I mean. I'm going to pull them back. Alright, so I need to go talk to the little hobbit that's by the fire over here, because she needs to speak to me. Well, well, you have made yourself right at home here. You have participated just as the mayor wished, and you have also gone against his wishes by speaking with those he considers an unsavory influence on his great festival. But now you must choose. One cannot have things both ways in life, not where it matters. Who will you choose to ally yourself with? You must choose your next quest carefully. You can do one or the other and once you finish one you will not be able to do the other until next year's festival are you ready to decide you must help either the workers and beggars or the mayor you will be rewarded according to the financial abilities of each so you can choose to do Gain in glory, assist the rich, or self-sacrifice, support the poor. So either you're going to help the mayor out, or you're going to help out the poor people. And we're going to go with self-sacrifice, support the poor. I'll give you the short of it. The mayor is feeling a little suspicious of the workers, and wants someone to spy on them to see what's afoot. What you make of of this is for you to decide, but I would talk to the mayor if I were you. See if what he has to say is to your liking. Alright, so, before we continue, we're going to empty our bags. We're going to get a whole bunch of stuff. What can I do for you? Oh, and I guess... Hello there. Um, the NPC, the, the um, reward vendor that usually stands here got broken somehow. So he's been removed until they can fix him. Which is kind of weird. You know, after years and years uh, of that NPC being there and working just fine, they have managed to break him. I don't know how. I really, really, it's like, how did you even manage to do that? Let's see, what am I looking for? Well, other than the fact that I just realized I may, may or may not have my other oh no there it is okay I did not lose it I'm glad about that all right now now that we've emptied our bag we can continue Oh my god, look at this goat. Uh, it's not a goat. It's a donkey. It's a cute little white donkey. I don't know where it came from. But it's cute. I will have to look it up later. What can I do for you? Ah, oh, just the high elf I wanted to see. You look to be quite a useful sort, so I have no qualms asking you to do a bit of dirty work for me. You see, the workers here have never been very fond of my policies. They can fill however they wish. 
But if I hear of them stirring up any trouble or complaining to folks, that there will be more trouble for them. Gareth Rust is the one who seems to be the most upstart among his peers. You must go spy on him and convince him to talk to you. If he says anything out of place, the rascal won't have a job. The mayor wants you to betray the workers, but you would never stoop so low. What's your need? Huh. The mayor is right to send a spy. But you are a friend to us workers, and that is a great boon. I have reason to believe that the mayor uses the extra funds from our lowered wages and over time for unsavory transactions and doesn't invest in making our town better. I have seen Guard Frostway coming to town at night to collect money and farms to bring to the fort down by the lake. Will you go investigate down there? The mayor will fire me on site if I leave my post. Sure. I will help you out with your deed. I think I already delivered the... Yeah, I did. Alright, so, we're headed out. And we're going to do our out outer run. And while we're doing our outer run, we're going to take care of finding out what the mayor is uh, actually up to. And we have built a nice classy snowman. Greetings, friend. instance we still need to do three more of those instances in order to get our little princess bunny Chickens are fun animals. Not the brightest animals, but they're fun. Wouldn't mind having a couple of chickens. Mainly I want chickens just to uh, have eggs. Done with that. I was gonna have trouble finding finding these, but I managed. A lot of people doing this these quests. I guess they're enjoying some of the new uh, cosmetics and other things they can get. Or they're using it like many people are to level up their characters because
festival quest level are always at your level. So whether you're level 10 or, or level 100, the festival quest gives you the appropriate amount of XP. And, uh, well, in my case, it doesn't give me any XP because I'm not earning any XP. And this is Guard Frostway. We need to talk to him. You nosy patrons should mind your own business and stay in the festival area. You're out of bounds and out of your depth. So you're intent on sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. The mayor pays me good money to make sure folk like you don't dig up any unwanted dirt. You best clear off. There's no proof of anything. Guard Frostway's been driven off, but the door of the fort opens. I've had enough of this job. The mayor has caused me nothing but trouble. Insufferable. You insult the mayor by coming here unbidden. I'll not let you smear the mayor's reputation or the reputation of the town, not after all the sacrifices we've made. You fool, by challenging the fort, you are challenging the mayor. I think he will send you to the stocks for this once I knock you out, and he'll find out whoever sent you here, stranger. Why are you here? Do you think any good will come of this? Do you think you have not also profited at expense of the poor? You think you're helping them by coming here? But think how many coins have you reaped at their expense? The banker has been driven off and a curious piece of paper swirls into your hands as he pleads. Your search is over. All evidence of the mayor's corruption is on this receipt. Well, that's convenient. That the... That that guy... The banker just happened to have on him all the proof that you ever need to prove that the mayor is up to something dastardly. That's kind of like the bad guy in, 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 in some western who, who sits there and cackles and, and tells the good guy his whole exact plan. Okay. It's convenient. And it's just supposed to be a cute, easy little quest chain. Alright, so we have done our outside blue. And in the process, we have discovered that the mayor is acting pretty shady which is too bad it would be nice if the mayor was not acting shady but acting good and nice but yeah that doesn't always happen does it so we are going to why are you bothering me we got some quests to turn in. And we're gonna turn these in real quick. What can quick. I do for you? What can I do for you? Now we're gonna go confront the mayor. Greetings, friend. What's that you have there? The mayor looks at the paper in your hand and pales in alarm as he realizes that you know everything about his irresponsible investing while the folk of the town go hungry. What are you going to do with that? Surely you don't mean to tell our innocent visitors of this, do you? Please, I will do anything you ask if you just put that paper back where it belongs, hidden away. What do you want? What share of the profit will appease you? How about you give everybody their jobs back? You demand the mayor 
sets the wages right for the workers, and gives the beggars back their jobs. All right. It's a sorry day. And he's happy. He now has his job back. Woohoo! And I would be reading these, but I got somebody on my a tell. I'm sorry. What Did sorrow and something? what joy the winter has brought. I can hardly believe my ears. By what providence has the mayor decided to give me another chance at life? You are so good to deliver the message to me. My outlook did not seem so bleak now. How Go can ahead I be and turn that service? quest in while we're here. Hello oh, good. There. Thank you. I can feel it. You have had a great part in this gift that you now bring me from Br Mayor Good now. <laughs> Regina Judson is ecstatic about this turn of fate. What can I do? Hurrah! Hurrah! I cannot believe it. I've been hoping every moment that some luck would come my way, and it has at last. Jack Judson is ecstatic about this turn of fate. And of course, now we gotta wait for him to come back. I'm sorry if I was upsetting Bolt. Come back here. It was the last one I needed to talk to, too. Now I gotta wait for him to return. Oh, and while we're waiting, and I think we need to pet a very small, small cat. She is very SML. Hello there. You, you give my life back with your news. I don't know what to say. Can it really be true? Can the mayor have grown a heart? What a wonderful day. Things are turning around for this town. I can feel it. So now we need to talk to Garrett Rust. And, of course, you know, come tomorrow, they'll all be standing around here, and cold and, and, and sorrowful once again. It's too bad that once you've actually gotten them their jobs back, it doesn't, like, change a little bit. Greetings. You have done a wonderful thing. We workers don't have much, but we scraped together what we could. Please accept these gifts as tokens of our gratitude. But know that we will not forget you or the great deeds done this day. If we ever have the opportunity to give you proper thanks, you can rest assured that we will. And so we get some fingerless gloves, shabby leggings, shabby cap, shabby stocking hat, um, five festival tokens, a title, the blameless, and then we get to choose between a tonic and a dress, and we're going to choose the dress. And we need to talk to Mara, and we need to talk to Mara. Okay. I hope you are satisfied with your decision. There are consequences to either action and rewards as well. Perhaps this little drama will play out again some other year if you find your you regret your decision. All right. So, we have completed our rounds. We have done a final act. So we have completed the quest chain here in Frostbluff, and we help the poor, because why not? And we're going to clean out our bags real quick again. Hello there. And then we're going to do another round of...
that instance. The Frost Bluff Snow Fight. And this time we're going to do it at level. So we'll move all these down here. And how many tokens do we have now? We have hundred and forty nine tokens, which currently we cannot use because well, the stuff we wanted to get was with this vendor that's missing right now. Alright, so we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to do the Winter Home Instance. Okay, we're back, and we are going to go ahead and do our Seasonal Instance. And this time, we're going to actually do it at level. So it's probably going to take a little longer than just the five minutes it took us the last time. But... I did promise that the next time we would do it at level. Even if we aren't getting any XP or anything for it, we'll do it for fun. Okay, hello kids. So, we're just going to go ahead and r roll through these. And the bird's going brock. And now we need to talk to the kids here, and they're all going to argue about who, who's the actual Frost Bluff King. Alright, so, start here. Probably should eat something. Oh, I can't do that in combat. Okay. I have to wait until we're done all of this. Then I can eat something. done eating. Need to speed up the eating a little. That's ridiculous. Alright, now, let's try this again. Eat food. <laughs> okay. That is part one. So we need to go free cluck clun now. Alright, 
So. Oh, here. I was going to say, we do have a, a fire here, don't we? We do. Oh, the way over there. Flag back. A subject of Cluckland. Very cute. Uh, there it just says subjects of Cluckland. That's so stinking cute. <laughs> okay. Now, up here. We have a warg. And we're going to kill the warg. Because warg should not be in Frost Club. Alright. Frost Bluff's Frosty Beast. Oh, so I can't get that un unless I'm doing these at level. Well, Oh, hi. How are you? Okay. Oh, excuse me. What? What are you doing? What is this you're saying to me? West. Come here. Okay. Okay. And 
Now we got Mr. Jack Frost over here. Survive the final assault. one and we also need to find the other encounter boss which is going to be up here somewhere and because we don't want the final boss to show up just yet we're, we're keeping one of the mobs behind us So, we have done that. Now we can come back down here with that mob still following us. And now, the final boss. Here he comes. A shivering maelstrom. And there he goes. So, it takes a couple of minutes longer than doing it under level, but it's still pretty easy, actually. Rock! <laughs> What an adventure, and with our very young Rune Keeper, this was the best day ever. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm glad you kids enjoyed it. And we are now up to how many... How many... We have 20 tokens. So we need 10 more, which means two more of those instances to have just enough to get our bunny at least oh okay so we could get our bunny here from this token vendor so we don't necessarily have to have the missing vendor to get our bunny we will have to have the missing vendor to get the cosmetics. So hopefully that vendor will be coming back soon. And I do believe that was everything for the festival today. So next time we'll do another quick round. We'll do another one of the Frost Bluff instances. And um, I think after Saturday, once we've done another one of those instances and we can get our Princess Bunny, we can resume doing our usual 
requesting. Until then, bye for now.